Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this one is the home page of uh, Franklin tool that is used to assess the clinical status of any uh, genomic variant that whether the variant is clinically pathogenic or benign or variant of unknown significance based on the ACMG and the American uh, Molecular Pathology Association. So uh, this one is the query box. You can uh, uh, put your variant detail here in the query box but before that here are certain parameters that you can set before adding before putting any variant. So for example if you want your variant to be annotated according to the new assembly AG38 then you can switch it here or maybe you can leave it at G19 if your variant belongs to uh, a germline then you can select the germline or for example if your variant belongs to certain somatic conditions or for example the cancer tumor then you can switch it and you can set the parameter somatic for example so <coughs> uh, there are different formats of, uh, of putting the variant in the security box. Uh, here is the example. For example, you can uh, you can annotate the SNP. You can annotate the copy number variation. You can annotate the run of homozygosity. So the format that you can uh, put in the security box for the critical assessments are given just here. For example, you can. You can annotate in this way. This one is the gene name, then C dot means the mRNA variant annotation. Uh, this one is the substitution, the deletion, insertion. This one is the genomic coordinate. This one is the messenger RNA, mRNA coordinate, cDNA coordinate. You can uh, <coughs> uh, use the format by using the genomic coordinate. You can use the format by using uh, the RSID. So for example, we try with this one. This one is an example. So here you go. This one is uh, the result of the Franklin. So it shows here the gene name, the uh, mRNA uh, variant. So here, this one is, is, is the complete annotation of this variant. And here it shows the clinical status or the clinical significance of the variant. It shows that it's likely pathogenic. So there are different grades based on the AMG, uh, ACMG guidelines. The variant could be either benign, likely benign, variant of unknown significance. For example, if it's uh, if it is not confirmed, or if the if the evidence are less to confirm it, whether it is pathogenic or whether it is benign, then it is. Uh, set as a variant of unknown significance so based on the evidence it may either fall in the future for example in the likely benign and the benign category or if the evidence is strong enough if the evidence comes in the future strong enough then it may fall into the likely pathogenic or the pathogenic category above in, in the above tabs there are different tabs uh, and all in all these tabs you can see the evidence based on which it is uh, predicted that this variant is likely uh, pathogenic and in the end you can you can download all these informations by clicking on this export summary button